Western New York never lived the full pain of a COVID's wrath. Western New York read about New York City. They read about Long Island. They watched it on the TV news. But the numbers were never as bad in Western New York. Well, Western New Yorkers are reacting to those remarks from the governor's announcement earlier today. As Two On Your Side's Jackie Roberts explains now, some understand and agree with his comments, but that is not the case, certainly, for everyone. Western New York never felt that same level of reality. The governor's remarks about Western New York got a lot of people talking. Erie County Executive Mark Polencars was asked about them during a county briefing. I think the governor was just talking about a comparison of what New York City and, and downstate was dealing with, and we did not deal with that. But that doesn't uh, and shouldn't uh, limit the pain that people in our community have felt because of the loss of a loved one or someone who's dealing with serious uh, after effects of COVID-19. And some elected officials argue the governor's comments were even insulting. It's disheartening to hear someone who is on TV or the radio every single day and is supposed to be representing all New Yorkers tell us that what we've been through isn't enough and that we're dumb and not listening. We've had 103 residents in Niagara County that have passed away due to COVID, which is devastating to our families and our community. We've watched our businesses shut down, many of them permanently because of the situation. We watch families struggling to pay their bills and buy food because they're out of work, either temporarily or permanently. We have absolutely felt the pain of COVID here in Niagara County, and we have taken it seriously. Dr. Thomas Russo, the chief of infectious diseases at UB, believes the governor's assessment isn't totally accurate and that many factors could contribute to the spike in Western New York. But I don't think this is completely on our behavior. Uh, I think uh, a majority of people here actually have taken this very seriously or wearing masks and doing distancing. And there is a significant minority, unfortunately, that are not following the rules. And because of that, all of us have to face the consequences. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.